In this video, I will show you how to export test questions from an It's Learning assessment and move them over to Schoology. The first step is to open It's Learning and go to the test. Here, I have a final exam. I'm going to go to the questions tab. When I scroll all the way down, I can see there are 20 multiple choice questions and one open answer questions. I need to select all of the questions. So if I had more than um, 21 here, I would want to make sure that all of my test questions are in view. So I would start by viewing them all. And then I will check the box to select all the test questions. And then I will choose export. Please note that the standards that are attached to each question will not move over with the test questions. Once I choose export, it is going to create a zipped file and it will automatically add it to my downloads folder. Now I'm ready to move over to Schoology. In my Schoology account, I'm going to go to my resources section. I'm going to choose the arrow right at the top next to my resources and choose import. I'm going to import this as a QTI version 1.2 zip file. You could also use the QTI 2.1 file. It, um, it does save you an extra step, but the formatting may be off a little bit. Uh, so you could try both, but let's just see what they look like. QTI version 1.2. I'm going to make this a new collection. This is my English final exam. And I'm going to choose next. Here, I'm going to attach the downloaded file. This was in my downloads. Here is my export right here, and I choose open. Once that has completed, I'm going to import. Now notice, I do have a new collection at the bottom of my list called English Final Exam. When I open that collection, I get a folder, and then I have another folder inside. Notice this green puzzle piece here. This signifies that there are questions, test questions in there. I can go ahead and open the folder just to verify. And here I can see the uh, multiple choice questions. Remember that there were 20 of them. And as I scroll all the way down, I have 20 multiple choice. And then the last answer is an open response. and it shows it here as open response. Okay, so now that I verify that my questions are in there, I'm gonna come back up to the top. I'm gonna to go back one folder because I do wanna find the folder that has the puzzle piece. Over on this cog wheel, I need to convert the questions to an item bank. So I'm gonna choose convert to item bank. It asks me where I'm going to put this. I'm going to keep it in that same collection and I'm going to convert it. Okay, so here we are. This is now a um, test bank. So now I'm on to step three, which is actually adding it to an assessment. Okay, I have navigated to my um, It's Learning course that I want to add this assessment to. The first thing I'm going to do um, is create the assessment. I'm gonna add it right to the top of my course. So instead of choosing this add materials, I'm gonna choose the little gray line here, which will give me the same options, but it will place it at the top or right where this gray line is instead of automatically putting it at the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and choose add assessment. I'm going to give this a title. Uh, I can go ahead and put all of the information in. Uh, you do want to make sure you add a category. It won't let you move forward without adding a category. 
um, and you're going to choose all of your other options as you normally would for creating an assessment. Then you choose Create. This will open the assessment and it brings us right up to the setup. Now, if I want to import those questions, I need to go to the Questions tab and I'm going to choose this Add Items from Bank right here. Add Items from Bank. Okay. Once I choose that, it's going to bring me right to my resources. Okay, remember those were in my personal resources and remember that I put it in this English final exam collection. So I add, open that up. Again, I'm gonna find that folder with the puzzle piece signifying that that is question banks. And now I can see I have all 21 items. Go ahead and select them all and say add. And now they are in my final exam example uh, assessment that I just created. You can certainly preview. And this is where you'd want to preview. Sometimes the formatting does um, go off a little bit, so you might want to just quickly preview each section. This, this looks pretty good. Um, and again, all of our multiple choice and our short answer is there as well. However, if you wanted to go to a specific question, uh, you can certainly um, make any changes that you want to the question. Even though it was imported from somewhere else, you still have full editing abilities for each test question. And you could re-add the learning objectives here. Once you make any changes, you will choose Save. And that is how you move your assessments from its learning to Schoology.